Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 139. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Magic Trick 133 to 145. Trick 139, we want to see how to use the hyperlink function. We're going to start with a simple example, and then we'll go to uh, a more complicated example based on uh, trick 138. So if you haven't watched that trick, you should watch that trick first. All right, hyperlink function, we have a list right here. And really what we want to do is we want to um, do data validation uh, drop-down list. And since you, I can't figure out how to do a hyperlink, and I posted to Mr. Excel discussion board and got no response whatsoever. So I couldn't figure out how to do data validation drop-down list that was a hyperlink. But we can use data validation and then use the hyperlink function, and it works just fine. So let's do data validation in 2000 and. 7, you go to data, and then data validation right there. I don't have it big enough. Right there, data validation. In 2003, you go to the data menu, data validation. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, Alt DL, DL. And then list. The source is right here. If it's on a different sheet, you need to name that range and then put the name there. Click OK. So there we have Google. Now we are um, going to use our hyperlink function, equals hyperlink, and then simply click on that cell right there. So hyperlink, you can see it up here too, and then enter. It actually uh, gives us our link, then, then we can click on it, and it will open up uh, our Google. Now that's to an external uh, website. Let's see if we can do it. Um, we want to make a hyper a data validation here of names from this sheet right here. See these names? But look, each one of these names is named name five, name seven. We saw how to do that quickly in the last trick. So we have all these names, and each one is named the actual name. So we want to do a hyperlink function, but that'll jump to somewhere else in this workbook. So I'm going to do data validation right here. Actually, I think I have to come back over here and name this. Uh, I need to name this range. See, each one of these is named name 1, name 4, name 5. But I want all of this range named name 5. So the way you do that is you highlight it. And then the keyboard shortcut, Control-Shift-F3. And it says the top row. Click OK. Now if I use my drop down and go to uh, Name, way down here, I can see that it got it. I'm going to come over here and data validation. This is how you do data validation from a different sheet. Alt DL, tab, L for list, tab, F3 key to paste your name. Or you can just type it in. Equals names, and then click OK. So I want to be able to pick a name that have a link here so I can just jump to somewhere else in this workbook. Well, we're going to use the hyperlink function. But we have to put the whole um, um, address, and it's in quotes. Now, the workbook name we have to put in square brackets. And I'm looking up here, because when I planned this out, I didn't know how many tricks were going to be here. So that's the wrong name. So I'm going to look up here, EMT133-145. Dot, dot, XLS. Now, if you're looking at yours, yours should just be dot .xls. I have two dots because this is a separate one. Then this is the finished version that I send out. And then end square brackets because that's the end. And then the name of the sheet right here. By the way, I tried this with these parentheses, and it wouldn't allow it. So I had to change the name there. Trick 138. So that's the name of the sheet. But guess what? Whereas square brackets are for the workbook, explanation point is for the sheet name. And then I'm going to have to join it, because in this cell right here is the named range over there. So now I'm going to end double quote, ampersand to join. And then I need to get that cell right next to me. So I'm going to use my arrow key, right arrow. Or you can click here and then arrow, arrow, like that to get the C12. And then comma, and the friendly name, you can type whatever you want here in quotes. Or I'm just going to have name, the name from that. The friendly quote is what to display. And then enter. And there you have it. Now we can click over here, and it jumps to name 5. If I um, choose 11, I can click here, and it jumps to 11. So that's how to use the hyperlink function and some uh, cool uh, to an external site or somewhere in this workbook. See you next trick.